we present Patchprov, Supporting Improvisational Design Practices for Modern Quilting. The modern quilting movement has changed the process of making quilts and their appearance. One technique, improvisational quilting, often results in colorful, bold geometric designs that can look like some modern paintings. Improvisation is a well-known technique in music and acting, and much of the prior work on improv in the HCI community emphasizes supporting brainstorming or the performing arts. In improv quilting, spontaneity is important, but the process does not have the urgency of live performance. This means that a system to support it does not necessarily require real-time responsiveness and must account for longer-term reflection. We wanted to know if we could design a system to support this improvisational design approach. Whereas the process of making a traditional quilt involves following a mostly linear process, improv quilting is more iterative. Quilters start with some design inspiration and then cycle through design, cutting fabrics, and sewing the final piece. From reading several popular books on improv quilting, we identified key properties of the technique and its challenges. These challenges include getting started, getting stuck, costly experimentation, and recording process. We set out to design a system, Patchprov, to address these challenges. Our system needs to assist the user with starting a design, help users avoid indecision, promote reflection, and capture the overall approach or process by which a design is produced. To use Patchprov, a quilter starts by cutting fabric, working directly in the usual medium. They then load the piece to create the digital representation in Patchprov automatically. They can then use this digital representation to cut and lay out pieces digitally without having to waste precious fabrics. They can then add pieces to the design. Note that as they make changes digitally, items are getting added to the to-do list, which keeps track of this experimentation. Then, as the user cuts and sews real fabrics, they can check off these items on the to-do list to make sure that what they see in Patchprov matches what they see in their sewing studio. And they can see how their design looks repeated by adjusting the rows and columns in the layout guides. As you may have noticed, the user is taking steps in both the digital and physical environments, and this can cause the two representations to become out of sync. First, as we just saw, the user may update the digital representation without cutting or sewing any real fabric. To keep track of these digital changes, we use what we call a process graph. For more information on our approach, please see our paper. Second, in cases where the user gets out of sync in the physical world, they can just load the new pieces into the system to replace any pieces that are out of date. To evaluate Patchprov, we invited four quilters to create a quilt block in a two-hour remote study. They were required to upload at least one photo, but were otherwise free to choose their workflow. Here are the blocks that they designed. We found that Patchprov helped quilters with many of the key challenges identified in improv quilting, particularly low-cost experimentation, with one participant noting, I've gotten stuck with the pieces that I've made in the past, being scared to try anything because I only have this much fabric and I don't want to cut it up. So being able to take a picture of that fabric would definitely help bridge that artist's block when I'm not quite sure how to proceed and your materials are limited. Quilters also appreciated abstracting away some material and construction constraints to focus on the visual design. And based on these insights from designing Patchprov, we think that there are some questions to consider when looking to support improvisation. How tied the digital and physical representations need to be, and how much of an active role the tools should play in the design process, likely depend on the creation time and physical scale of the finished artifact. We chose to take a lightweight approach, providing relatively few design suggestions, but there are likely other domains in which a more active approach may work well. We have shown the possibility of supporting improvisational design for quilting, and we hope that our project will encourage future work on supporting improvisation in quilting and beyond. Thank you for watching our talk.